what is up everybody uh, uh this will be a short stream tonight two reasons uh i'm sick i don't know if you can hear my voice i'm sick as a dog i'm tired i didn't sleep enough and i'm sick so <clears throat> we're gonna make this one short ish what's going on joseph Vaughn, everybody, what's up? Thank you, sir. It's just a cold, but ugh, I feel like crap. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll chop it up for a little bit. We'll do these trivia championships, and we'll pick it back up uh, tomorrow after we chop it up for a little bit. Oh, uh, what's up? This guy, Trick Nolte, a, I know him personally. Met him before, good dude, out of Texas, but knows boxing, like, knows everything about boxing. Big up. It's not better than boxing, but not gay. What? What's not better than boxing, but not gay? What's cracking, cracker? Chilling. You can't say crack, only I can say it. I'm just kidding. I got that cold too. Yeah, there you go. It really sucks. Tap in, brother. Thanks for doing live, even when you may feel and appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Can you guys tell in my voice that I, I'm sick? I feel it. I sound sick to myself, but I don't know if I sound it to other people. I was sick last night too, a little, but when I woke up today, it was effed up. Look at look at Vaughn previous comment. Oh, okay. I'm a little slower. MMA is gay stop motion. <laughs> okay. I got it now. These two always go at it. I'm part white. I got the pass. Okay. That's true. You my cracker. Uh, salute Brody. What's up? Moni Brown. Mona Brown. What's going on? Appreciate you for coming on. Yeah, man. Of course. Of course. We gotta, gotta get it in for a little bit. At least, right? I'm like... Eyes are like blurry, sort of. Moni Brown, TV in more ways than to salute. All right. Money Brown. Why am I saying Moni? Money Brown. That's how you spell Moni too, right? I don't know. Like those of you my age, Mo remember uh, the rapper Moni? Moni Love? Moni in the middle. Where's she at? In the middle. Dude, hate them white jokes. You know your shit. Respect. Word up. Thanks, Cortez. Word up. Vaughn, how's it feel to be number two? <laughs> this guy. Money Brown. I've seen his channel. Money Brown. He's got good content. Word? All right. All right. Let's bring him up. There he is. Boom. Boxing content, I assume. All right. Money Brown. Um, so, what was I talking about earlier today? I was talking about something. Oh, the Canelo thing was coming up. That Benavidez apparently is in... Not apparently. Benavidez is possibly in talks with Canelo for a September showdown. But... Where, where would that happen? And who is going to garner the 150 to 2 milli? Has to be Saudi, right? Fantasy fight, who wins? Light heavy, Foster, Michael Spinks. I don't know. Spinks, maybe? Carrie G. Big up from Carrie G for hitting me with that five spot. Appreciate you. Posting tip, shout out from the boxing voice. So close to a string, so so close to a string, a great matchup. Wait, what? Posting tip, shout from HBV. So close to a string, a great matchups. Oh, we're so, I got you. We're so close to a string of great matchups and championship fights. Yeah, Carrie, we're close, but no cigar. Unfortunately, 
Hopefully the Saudis put up a bag for David and Canelo. Otherwise, it's not going to happen, right? Right? If, if, if David, I mean, if the Saudis don't pay for it, if the Saudis can't fund it, it's obviously not going to happen. So, um, I still think, I think Canelo's probably sitting there like when, when Benavidez came back and said, ah, we're working on it. He probably was like, fuck. He was like hoping Benavidez would be like, I can't afford no 200 million. Nobody could afford that. Never mind. Uh, Mexico. Okay. So that's the last couple. Yeah. I got like brain fog. Um, I, I saw this card that's supposed to be, tell me if you guys saw this, it's supposed to be, um, it's the Frank and Tank card, and then Benavidez and Ushka, Bushki, Bushki, whatever his name is, and then, oh, there's a couple, oh, Andra, Andrade, Andrade versus Morel, and, oh, there's one more, you guys know what I'm talking about? Looks like a dope card. It's not confirmed, but that's what they're looking at. That's what they're looking at. Stop motion. It feels like I feels like shit right now, but at least I am. I am, am gay. I don't get it. So Vaughn, you got the same cold I got. Kids gave it to me. Yeah, if that's true, I'm with you. It's one, maybe one of you guys could Google it. It's a couple other dope fights on it. It's, and it's all Saudi. And then, of course, you guys hear wow, they're supposed to be fighting Zhang. Um, Saudi. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. Trill, what up? Did you hear wow? I just said it. Yep, I did hear that. I'm, here's what I'm worried about. Now, I was never a huge Wilder fan um, after all the excuses he made and how he kind of started going crazy. And But... I don't want to see him decline. And I feel like if he keeps fighting, he might be the dude now that was, you know, knocking everybody out. But now he might start getting knocked out. Like I'm worried Zhang's going to like sleep him and he's just going to go in this decline where he's not going to stop fighting. And I don't know. I worry about that. I like when you, when you see somebody as successful as him, you want to see him kind of walk off. He took a couple of L's, but it's not too bad now, you know, but you don't want like what happened to Roy and, who are the fighters whose careers got better, bigger, better after losses? Um, Pacquiao, Marvin Hagler, um, Pacquiao, Hagler. Uh, I don't know. El Rayo dos Santos. That's right. That's the one. That's right. Dangerous fight for Wilder for real. Yeah, he might get slept. <clears throat> I'm not really feeling that one. B Hop, yes. Marco is a Fury fan. Um, yeah, I do like Fury. As a matter of fact, I don't, I don't specifically like him more than other fighters. But I didn't like his fighting style. I found him boring. But then when he started knocking people out with Sugar Hill, then I got into him. And I think he's fucking funny. I think he says a lot of funny things, and he's amusing with his weird British sayings. Mark, you said before you had the potential to be a world champ. What makes you say this? Uh, just my skill and what I've seen for myself in the ring, what people have told me who've you know fought me, sparred me. You know, when you're in the game so long, like I know what a fast punch is. I know what a hard punch is. I know what good punch placement is. I know what good IQ is. Like, you just... It's like asking anybody in whatever field that they specialize in saying, well, what makes you think that you'd be good at it? It's like, well, you know it. You know it, so you know you'll you'll do okay. So that's what made me say that. <sighs> um, yeah. But yeah, I worry about Wilder. Um, I hope. I hope he doesn't end up just getting knocked out and then, you know, I, I really hope. Do I? Yeah, I still got it, Frank. Um, I stop box every day. 
I haven't sparred in a while, but I hit, I punch, I hit bags every day. And I feel like some of you guys have probably seen my clips on, um, I put them up. I put little shorts up and me hitting the bags and stuff. You can see, you could, you could uh, judge for yourself. I only had, well, I had three, but I only had one pro fight officially on the books and two smokers, they're called. He was my favorite heavyweight, but after he got dropped by Francis, I could no longer be a fan. You have a point. It was a tough pill to swallow, but I'm letting, I'm giving him a get out of jail free card. If he makes up for it, whoops, Usyk, you know, whatever, fine. But if he, if he starts, if he continues to look bad, then yeah, it'll be a problem. So, favorite, you spell that like you're British. I got some power. Yeah, man. Thank you. I do. Uh, speed and power, even mix. I hit really hard, but I was also like mad fast. Yeah, because when you learn how to throw a punch correctly, um, that's what happens. You know, when you learn how to throw it correctly, you maximize your power. I mean, anybody can learn how to hit hard. Not everybody could be fast, but everybody can learn how to hit hard. That's a fact. Hoping he goes on a downfall now so I could say he is not in his prime. <laughs> While they're in. What's up, LeVar? How's it going? How you doing? <clears throat> um, what's going on, fellas? As you see here, LeVar, I am sick as a dog. So this is going to be a, a short stream. I can't keep doing this. I see you punch Briggs hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even hit him that hard. I hit him 25% maybe. Not even. But just, just, just leveraged it and snapped it so you can feel what's popping. What do you mean by everyone can learn to hit hard for boxing standards or... I mean, anybody can learn how to hit hard. Yeah. Um, if you if you use the right mechanics and the right leverage, anybody could hit relatively hard. You know, you can. Everybody can hit hard because the average person, man, weighs at least one fifty, right? One one thirty to one fifty. So if you throw a punch correctly, you can get all 130 or 50 pounds behind that punch. So that's going to be a hard punch no matter what. Now you have people who hit harder and weigh more, but you're, you get where I'm going with it? You can throw all your weight behind it. And anybody can learn how to throw all their weight behind it. What will Morel? It'll say Morel is, is possibly the truth because Andrade is still excellent fighter. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll um, feel better. Did people treat you different compared to when you weren't and was a boxer? I've always been one. Like, people still treat me like I am one. So it's always been since I'm 13, it's been that. Because everybody who knows me knows that that's what I do, what I love. Learning to punch proper increases your power. Yep. Yep. Throwing short punches turning your hip, snapping your shoulder, and shifting all your leverage. Those are, that's all you got to do. Um, and you'll hit hard. What's up, Bruce? What's cracking? What is crackalacking? Like turning your hoops while hooking hooks while hooking instead of throwing. Yes. Look, some people throw hard arm punches. Like um, George Foreman was a classic example. He threw very hard arm punches. So some people do it, but it's not. It's not the proper technique. I mean, ears are popping. My man, Bruce. I didn't write too many new questions today, so I got enough old ones, but I just felt like crap. 
LeVar Cooper. Do you guys catch a lot of you guys were in here last night for the Blair Cobbs interview, right? How many of you guys were in the the, the TBV today when I was there? I didn't really see any of you. I saw Harvey, L. Harvey, who's he's not here right now, but other than him, I didn't see any of you guys in there. Unless you just weren't talking. Cortez, I am going to have to lean towards Cobb. Cobb's um, more focused, more active, still hungry. <laughs> you have Broner, who's clearly lost his drive and already a champion four times over. Then you have Cobbs, who's in his 30s, never won anything, hungry. And a very tricky, fast, good boxing southpaw. Are you over there? Dope. What's up, Drich? What's poppin'? Oh, for the Cobbs interview, okay. What up, Seth? How's it going? Seth, I got a question. You a white dude or a black dude? I asked because... I've only met one Seth in my life that's black. All the Seths I know are white and in New York and usually Jewish. So I'm just curious. And one thing I will say, not a lot of white Jewish dudes like boxing. Uh, so I don't know which I'm, I'm, I don't know which one. Lavar, what up? Um, what was I going to say? I hope Don King signs some Olympic guys so we can make a comeback. I mean, he better do a comeback very quickly. I'm black, I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, most white Jewish dudes don't like boxing, so they're lamos. Um, yeah, and I just said lamo. I don't know why I said that. But... Um, Don King doesn't have too many years left, man. He's in his 90s. Like, what do you, what do we think is going to be happening with him? You know what I mean? Broner tried to get with a 16-year-old. He acts like a dick, really. Just like, oh, right. He did do that, right? Yeah, he seems a little less thirsty for attention, though, Broner. He seems a little more mature now because that was in his 20s. Now he's in his, like, mid-30s. So hopefully he's not as bad. Do you think Floyd was going to get finished by Mosley once he got hit? No, I didn't, but I was hoping. I was hoping because I really like Shane. But no, I hadn't. I was like, it's going to take more, way more. It's up there too. That's, I think that's yours. Um, It's going to take way more. I was like watching that fight. I'm like, Floyd's, you're gonna, it's going to take a lot more for Floyd to, to, to get finished than just a couple shots. I wonder why boxing is not big in the States because the majority of the public loves seeing people fight. Well, because I think people like people like watching sports like NHL, NBA, where where they know that they could rely on a season, 82 games, playoffs, like structured, not the shit show that boxing is, unstructured, free for all, Lord of the Flies kind of thing that boxing is. So that's probably why. And that would be my guess. Wow, I ain't no Broner was a pet pedo. I know. But no. I I don't fully remember that, but I kinda remember that. I don't remember the details. You oh yeah. I mean, that's probably what it is. Right? Yeah, I saw a recent interview with him and he's still kind of cocky. Their buildup's going to be fun. And like, with the interview with Blair, like, I, I meant what I said to him. Like, I think he's he's entertaining. He doesn't rub you the wrong way. He's just entertaining. You know, he doesn't try and shit on people to get, which is Broner's thing was like, to, to crap on people. Cobb doesn't really do that. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully it is official because I know he said they signed, but they don't even have a venue yet. So, you know, the way this works, anything could be canceled easily. 
easily. So we're going to have to wait and see. Um, that's May 31st, though, that fight. That's what uh, Blair told me yesterday. So that'll be fun. And, uh, I didn't even realize that um, Better BF and Bivol isn't even official. I don't think it's official yet. Official. Is there a date and a venue? With that, like, tickets on sale kind of thing? I don't know. Bernard re re became trigger shy after Maidana. So you think it's just Maidana who, like, permanently, um, permanently, like, affected his, his output and has made him just trigger shy for life? Possible. I mean, Sean Porter beat the crap out of him, too, didn't he? Didn't Sean Porter fight Broner and be beat him bad? Broner trash talk is different from Cobbs. It's more of hood and disrespectful, like what I grew up around. Yeah. Well, yeah. Me too. Well, really, all hood trash talk is disrespectful. When you're a certain age. When I was like 12, 13, we would talk trash to each other in the hood, and it would just be like fun. You know, it'd be like playful. But once you got like 15, 16, 17, yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. I forgot where you're from, stop motion. I was I get confused. You're not Michigan. Madonna ruined that man. He might have, man. He might have. How come guys like Tyson and Crawford can admit being scared to fight, but end up when did Crawford admit being scared? I don't remember Crawford admitting being scared. Dropped oh um, yep. Maryland, right? Yeah, Maryland. That's right. Right, right, right. Not, not Baltimore. Some, some. You told me the name of the town or the city. I never heard of it. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Cobbs is more like, not like. It's more like entertaining. Like he, yeah, like almost like PG thirteen. Yeah. I mean, as a kid. Oh, I mean. It's different admitting you're scared as a kid as opposed to an adult. Tyson admitted he was scared as an adult. Larry, what up? Broner versus Blair. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And I don't know if you guys saw me talking to Blair, but or who did, but he was saying he has some stuff lined up. He's real creative. He's probably going to hire the Cirque du Soleil or something. You know? Bro, my favorite AB quote is when he told LRB he was a bitch ass and word yeah yeah that was good. actually no i like better when he said to uh he said that to al bernstein too didn't he, he called him a bitch ass and word too didn't he and then said shut that shut that shut that soft shit up that was kind of funny bernstein was like he was all like white and uptight like we're, we're I'm, I'm what like he didn't get it it was funny he didn't know what was happening he just knew he was being insulted but he wasn't sure what it meant Hoping AB can get it done. What do you think, Marco? You can he get? I don't know. I think Blair might beat him. I'm going for Blair too, but I think Blair might beat him. What's up, Rodriguez? Is David the best to never win a world title? He's up there. I don't know if he's the best, but he's definitely one of them. Definitely in heavyweight. Can anyone get it? Dominicans, Mexicans, Africans. Yeah. Clown. Blair would be a good promoter. Who knows? That that might be his uh his next his next uh, uh what's the word? Venture. I was thinking see I have brain fog right now from this cold. Yeah, that might be his next venture. Um he's cool, I like him. His kids you know what I mean? He's, he's like 34 or something. He's older. Uh, but he has some few good years left in him. So hopefully he can, you know, if he beats Broner, then he goes and he fights. You know, I, I, I want him to do well. I like him. I want him to succeed. Whoa, what? Oh, whoa. I got you. Got you. Um. Yeah, so there's a lot of good potential fights coming up, right? Or not potential, a lot of good signed ones and a lot of good almost fully signed ones. Like 
Like I'm 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 kind of excited to see Wilder and Zhang, but it might just be a nightmare boring fight because Zhang doesn't throw traditionally, and Wilder this Wilder doesn't throw either. So it just might be a huge stink fest. You want Blair to beat Ennis, two Philly guys? Although Blair grew up in Philly, but then he went back and forth, so he's not pure Philly dude. I don't think he could beat Ennis. I hate to say that, but I don't think he could beat Ennis. I think Ennis, I think Boots beats him. Even if we were into the fifth dimension, Blair would never, ever be. <laughs> I just said that, Larry. As that came through, it was coming, coming off my lips, rolling off my tongue. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and they're, they're, the funny thing, too, is they're the same level of fighter in terms of their experience level, how long they've been in the game. Why that matters is because when you look at their skill, like you look at Boots' skill, and you're like, oh, he could he could maybe boot, beat Bud or beat Errol, or, or, but, but he doesn't have enough experience. So you kind of take a little away from the skill and then add a little – Stack a little on top for experience on the other guy. But with Ka, with Blair, and with Boots, they're both equal experience. Boots is just skill levels, just like, Ooh. Yeah, agreed. Stop doing a Canelo ducking that like. <laughs> yes, please hit the like button. We got, oh, I got like almost 60 in one of these. I'm trying to get them higher and higher. Business wise, it would be better. Yeah. I don't, uh, Blair even told me yesterday he doesn't want to fight Boots right away. He's, Blair said that even if he beats Broner, he doesn't want to fight Boots next. He wants to get like a tune-up. He's smart though. Uh, people people better not say that's scared or he's smart. It's knowing, slowing your role and taking care of yourself and your career properly. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? We've never seen boots at the highest level. We don't know how. Yeah, exactly. We have a good idea because of his the eyeball test, but no, we don't know. Rocha. Yeah, he should rematch Rocha. It's a good idea. And then go to boots. <clears throat> boots has that American Philly style, but he's a cus he's custom. He's accustomed it and mixed in things of his own. For me, that's the favorite American fighter, even if people don't like him. Why wouldn't people like Boots? Fantasy, Two Sharp Johnson versus Gary Russell Jr. I got to be honest, I don't know much about Gary Russell Jr. I've seen clips. He has blazing fast hands, if that's the one I'm thinking of. There's Antoine. There's I don't know which is which. But I don't know much. Those guys never fight. They've fought, all of them have fought maybe once between all of them in the past, like, four years, for whatever the reason. Boots could go up 60 and beat Canelo. He could. He needs a few more years, but it's possible. Were there ever any boxers who fought high on weed or stimulants? Errol Spence looked like he fought high against Bud. I wouldn't be surprised. He looked, his eyes were, like, droopy. He looked out of it. Gary Antoine's a great. That's the one with the fast hands. Wilder Fall Parker on some mush. <laughs> yeah, he might have. He might have, or maybe he had like an invisible rope tying his hands together so he can't throw punches. Sad that his on he's on the shelf at PBC. Well, yeah, that's what it is then. Wild. Wild stuff. Oh, man. Um, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the championships in, in a few minutes. I got to drink some Theraflu, and I haven't eaten any dinner yet either. I'm hungry. Um, but we have enough people here for it, right? I know Bruce was here. I don't know if he left. Uh, who else we got? I saw them talking about Wilder versus Zhang. You think Wilder can come back? 
Either one could happen, man. Wilder could easily lay Zhang out for good. Or Zhang could, because Zhang's big enough where if Wilder does that, like, tentative, not throwing bullcrap, he'll get sparked up. Yeah, he will get sparked. He will get, yeah, it won't be good. That's why I'm a little worried about him. Since Boots ain't going to get the blood fight, he needs a name. Yeah, the problem is he's champion, so he might want to wait there and defend his belt a few times at, at 47. Wilder should have never gotten into all that ayahuasca. Why? <clears throat> I don't think the ayahuasca made him... Um, I don't think the ayahuasca made him... Be, it's just the time in his life. Ayahuasca is not addictive. It's, it's a herb or whatever it is, a plant or something. So I think he's just, this is where he is in his life. So, all right. Wow, there's an interviewer. Yeah, that's what he said, but it's like drinking. You know, we all know people who, when they get drunk, they act, they act like douches, right? But it's not the alcohol making you be that way. It's what's inside you. The alcohol just drops your inhibitions and lets you be who you really are without being worried about judgment. So I, I never think that drugs will make people totally different. Well, maybe super hard drugs do, like heroin, or, but still. Boots needs to take care of 147, go after the belts, move up the beat chart. Yep, he does. All right, let's do the championships, guys, because I'm feeling like crap. Hit me with a ready. My Spence came out with that fat Texas. Facts, fat ass Texas. Yeah, who was that? Weston versus Young Foreman. Um, Foreman, it's too big. Remember, Liston is only about six one, six feet maybe. And only about two two twelve. Foreman was a solid two thirty and six four or six three. Okay. You guys wanna do you guys wanna do the championships or you wanna it's up to you guys. I could do it. <laughs> Hit me with a ready if you're ready for it. Hit me with a ready. All right, let's do it. Let's do this shite. All right. Here we go. What real life fighter, what real life boxer inspired the movie Rocky, the series of Rockies? So what real life boxer inspired the Rocky series. Go. Real life fighter who inspired the Rocky series. Who was it? Real life fighter. Inspired the Rocky series. We have about five seconds. Four. Three. Boom. Stop. Got it. Stop. Got it first. Okay. Well, looks like he's picking up where he left off the last night. Right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Um, okay. Ready? Here we go. What... Boxer famously had the bum of the month club. What boxer famously fought the bum of the month club? Go. Bum of the month club. What boxer fought the bum of the month club? Oh. Larry beat you. Stop. You got it first. Larry got it first. All right, so we're 1-1. One, one. 
Larry got it first. We're 1-1. One, one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, ready? Um, who is, who is only the second man in history to ever knock down, to ever drop legend Julio Cesar Chavez? Who is the second man in history to ever knock down Julio Cesar Chavez, El Gran Campeón? Go. Second man, 10 seconds to knock down JJC. Seven seconds. S second man, boom. AMCK got it. De La Hoya never knocked him down. Stop, unfortunately. AMCK is the only one to get it. Okay, now we got a three way tie. <laughs> Three-way tie. All right. All right. Oh, did he knock him down in the rematch? Well, it wasn't the second man, so. Okay. Yeah, in, in, in the first fight, he didn't knock him down. He whooped it. Delahoy whooped his ass, but didn't drop him in the first one. All right. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Stop motions, mama. That's that. That's funny. All right, here we go. Uh, in what city did Tiafimo Lopez? Where was Tiafimo Lopez born? In what city, I'll take the closest possible answer, where was Tiafimo Lopez born? Go. 10 secundes. 9, 8, 7. Okay. Mm. Okay, so now here's what we got to figure out. I guess I... I guess we got to give it to stop because it is Brooklyn, but he said NYC and I did say the closest and Brooklyn is a part of NYC. So I guess stop gets this one. Stop gets this one. All right. So now stop motion is one win away from winning this championship. All right. One win away. Okay. All right. I got one now that I don't think anybody's going to get, but here we go. Who was the first ever black middleweight champion of the world? The first ever black middleweight champion of the world. Go. First ever middleweight champion who is black in ever in history. Eight, seven seconds. Okay. Larry got this, but I feel like you looked that up because I don't think anybody, I didn't even know that until I looked it up. I'm going to trust you, Larry, but I feel like you looked that up. But Tiger Flowers is the correct answer. I think you all looked it up, you cheating ass. All right. Well, Larry's 2-2. Two, two. Larry, look, if you looked it up, if you looked it up, you have to live with yourself being a cheater. But if you didn't, congrats. Good answer. Good answer. All right. You knew that? Well, I'm saying Larry, but okay, whatever. 
Either way. Either way. Meldrick. Trash. Meldrick was a champion in like the 80s or 90s. There's a lot of black men. And Meldrick was never middleweight. Too fast to look it up. Okay. Okay. All right, Larry. Hey, I'll trust you guys. You guys all seem like like honest, trustworthy dudes. And you know what this is about, right? You guys are boxing fans. You want to win because you won, not because you're you're cheating. So I, I'll trust you guys. All right, here we go. Ready? What was the birth name of Costa Zoo? What was his first name, the name given to him at birth, for Costa Zoo's birth name, his first name? Go. What name did his mommy and daddy give him? What's on his birth certificate for his first name? Costa Zoo. Go. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. What's wrong? Stop. You didn't know that one? Uh, that's a, kind of a tough one. Six seconds. Okay. AMC got it, but I feel like that's enough time to look it up. But AMC got it. So you, you're not lying, are you? So now, Terry. <laughs> so now we have a three-way tie. So we could either do, I'm going to ask you guys, we could either do sudden death, where the next one of you to win, or we could do win by two, since it's a three-way tie. What do you guys want to do? Sudden death or win by two? So in the event of a three-way tie, nah, we probably shouldn't do a win by two. Cause I'm, nah, you just want to do it? Next one who wins? Okay, sudden death. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we go. You ready? One of the first belts, one of the first sanctioning bodies, organizations in boxing history, literally actually the first one, one of them, there was a couple, but was called the NBA, the National Boxing Association. So the question is, what current sanctioning body did the NBA end up evolving into that is now one of the, the four majors? Which one was it? Go. Which current one is it now? Oh, well. Stop, got it. Stop, got it. Stop motion. Got it. I mean, Larry was right on your ass. Pause. Right on your ass. Am Amic, you didn't let me finish, or 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 no, you didn't. The IBF, though, your office, WBA, WBA. Stop motion is a three-time MB trivia champion. Three times. Now this last night, if you remember, you you had a first round knockout. You swept everybody, but tonight you had a split decision. Split decision victory. Split decision. So either you're not training or these dudes are training hardcore. But that was impressive, man. Larry, that was impressive. Uh, AMC, CK, that was impressive. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was impressive. It was good. Four-time little champ. I know, man. So now you're, it's four time? Yeah, four times in a row. Stop motion MMA. I still do not like the fact that you're coming into my room and you're winning all these boxing trivia championships and you got MMA in your damn screen handle. I don't like it. I don't like MMA and I don't like it. So I, I ask you again. I know you can go in there and change it. Add boxing to it. Keep, if you want to keep MMA, fine. You, you like MMA, but do that. Do stop motion boxing and do an and MMA. Something. P please. 
MM guy. <rire> <laughs> yeah, that's good, Vaughn. Vaughn salty because you took his title, but that's good. I know you're. I know, obviously, but is that Roy? Is that an? I don't know who that fighter is. Who's who's your? Is, I can't tell. It's not a young Roy, but you got a boxer in your in your profile pic. So. Rematch. Yeah, we'll do the rematch tomorrow. You, um, I don't know if you guys will be around tomorrow. I will be maybe a little later. I got to go into work with my kid, but I'll be back later to to do this again. Shut up. I'm your landlord. Rent free in your head? Is that Gerald? I don't know who that is. Stop. Who Who is that? No, it's not Gerald. Let me zoom it in. I don't know who the hell that is. Stop. Before we before we stop this, oh current IBF light, can you give us the name? Jesus, don't you making us beg? Well, who is it? What's the name of the current IBF light flyweight champ? And why'd you pick him? That's really random. Non, non Tichigan Chigas. That sounds like something racist. Like. That coming out of my mouth, non tichigas, that sounds like I'm being racist. I don't like saying it. I'm not gonna say that name again. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him. I don't know what I'm gonna call him. But that coming out of my mouth does not sound good. Stop. You know your boxing props. Okay. Oh, the guy who knocked out Adrian. Kurt. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, all right, fellas, good one. Sorry, it was uh, it was shorter, as you could, as I mentioned. I feel like crap, but it was fun kicking it with you guys for a little bit, and we'll do the same thing tomorrow night. All right, kids, peace.